Hey folks, we're gonna do this in one take and I'm not gonna mess it up. Hey, how you doing? I'm No Code. You're watching the No Code Tech on YouTube. And today, I'm gonna do something. I don't know, I need more coffee. Intro time. Okay, folks, thanks for tuning in. Let me uh, turn down the radio there. Okay, hey, how you doing there? Okay, um, what am I even doing today? I gotta get this keyboard out of the way. Uh, why is everything such a mess? Eh, eh, okay, that should be enough room. All right, coffee time. Coffee break. It's magically delicious. And what is this? What is this? What is, what is even this? Webcam. Yeah, all right. Cool. <coughs> oh, sick today. Okay, so where, where, where even is my... I don't know. All right, well, today we got the... Uh, what is this, actually? It's the double A tray for the Yezu 818 or 817 um, for the double A's or the LR6's or whatever. Um, yeah, and uh, we have battery problems with the uh, rechargeables as I'm digging through here. Um, we got some EBO lithium ions. There's what I'm looking for. Yeah, look, yeah, my way. Okay. Uh, so we got all these fancy, uh, you know, rechargeable batteries, but they don't fit in here. I'm looking for the lattice. There they are. Those are my favorites. I use these more often than that um, because they last the longest. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that till I do that video. But anyway, <clears throat> I like the lattice. They're so cheap, uh, readily available, and all that fun jazz. But uh, as we've uh, we I keep saying we, I think I need more light. Let me turn on my studio lights. Be right back. I'm dying. Mama told me not to come. Oh. Hey, look at that. A little bit easier to see, I think. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, so when we put these in here, right, they get a little bit too compressed. They're too tight. Uh, there's not enough wiggle waggle room within the, the battery tray. And that prevents uh, the batteries from sliding along the spring tension and making good uh, uh, contact there. So we're gonna we're gonna modify the battery tray to fix that. But first, we're gonna understand what the problem is. You can see the problem here is these are supposed to be loose in here. There's a little spring there, and that that pushes down here and whatnot. But that battery, I mean, it's it's tight. It's taut. So let me do some zoomy make motion here. Well, we need a straight edge. What's something that's straight? Insert horrible joke. Okay, I got the, uh, I got this. It's a, it's a Wiimote, remote. And if you put it up there, you can see the bulge in the plastic here from this battery, right? So the, the battery tray itself is bulging out to accommodate the slightly larger diameter. Yeah, no, what am I saying? The, uh, the plastic battery tray is bulging out to accommodate the slightly larger diameter of rechargeable batteries. The nickel metal. I need some coffee. Holy crap balls, guys. I'm sorry. It's pretty early in the morning. Um, I'm still wearing my jammies, so that's cool. But, uh, yeah. What am I doing? I'm so tired. I need so much more coffee. So that's the problem. How do we fix the problem? How do we rectify the problem? Because it sure would be great to put something other than um, disposable alkalines or what have you into these battery trays. So I figured out, well I didn't figure out, but I taught about it and then I did it and it worked and then I went online to brag about it and like a bunch of other people have already done it so it's already a thing. It's not my thing, but that's okay. That's, that's how it works, that's fine. So I thought, despite everyone having known about it, well not everyone, but despite a <coughs> cough, cough. Despite a large 
a lot of people online knowing about it. Couldn't really find any YouTube videos on it, so I kind of had that idea. But Rod Murray, thanks, Rod. You're a great guy. He left me a comment uh, on one of my videos saying, hey, can you show me how to do that? And I thought to myself, yes. Yes, I can. Specifically with the Ikea Ladas. Ladas. Coffee break. So, I got this. This is the uh, Yezu. Hold on. Yezu gives numbers to everything. Everything has a number, so it's easier for y'all to look up. I don't know. This is a Yezu thing. This is a little battery tray that goes inside the, the 818 or the 817s. This is a uh, pair of Hako, Hako, Snips. Um, CHP Focus. Get my hand back there. There we go. CHP 170 made in Italia. So, little snips for soldering and whatnot. So, let's modify the battery tray. Okay? It's pretty simple. Um, try to get a good camera angle here. Mm, yep, that'll work. All right, so the, the, the batteries fit the this way, the left the right way. The batteries fit the left to right way, but the problem is the, uh, the, the, the this the way, right? The, the diameter the way. I should get a pair of calipers and actually do some like proper measurements and then people would think, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so take your snippy snips and I'm gonna start in the middle. You can start on either side, really, but with um, how this attaches here, we're, we're, we're gonna take out the center piece right here, okay? It's not very thick. Like I said, I don't have a calipers, but it's, um, oh, it's part near, I'd say, about 1.5 to 2 times as thick as my thumbnail. Okay. So, whatevs. But taking that out gives us just enough additional side-to-side -side, uh, room to fit those in. Uh, so let's, well, let's just do it, okay? I don't talk too, too, too much. So I, I'm going to go down, like perpendicular and there's these little where am I at in there? there's these little like quarter circle structural pieces here okay I'm not too concerned about that anyway I'm gonna go down straight up and down kind of up next to it all right and then just kind of give it a snip a little big waggle and um ooh, focus there we go that snipped Maybe not all the way through, but whatever, that's fine, okay? I'm gonna flip it around, I'm gonna do it the other side, right next to that. Give her a snip, and there. And I'm just gonna take this, fold it over, and it just broke, which is good. It broke along the weakest point, which is where it attaches down to the base. Kinda go back the other way, and then, ta-da! That fell out, where is it? There it is, it's a piece of plastic. And hey, look! No more middle piece. I'm going to do the same thing on the next one over. And it does go pretty quick. I imagine you could do this with uh, scissors. But, I don't know, these seem to work well. So yeah, now I got two pieces out. And now I got this weird, stabby, pokey, whatever. I'm picking even snippy snips. I'm just going to kind of get down as close as I can. This is where I don't think normal scissors would work. But with these being angled. And then just... And off she comes. Put that over there with the rest of the rubbish. Hey, look at that. I mean, it sticks up a little bit, but uh, but hey, that's okay, right? And then, uh, same thing on this side. Being very careful when you get down to the, the edge here. There is some some soldering and some some metally bits here, but I wouldn't be too concerned. Stay away. And uh, if you're going to squeeze it and it seems really quite tough <clears throat> harder to that's why you start in the middle if you're squeezing kind of hard and it's not really doing it's not really cutting um i want to back off a bit you might be squeezing the wrong bits so let's start there give her a fold get out of there you punk all right there we go um if you can't get in there with scissors snippy snips um, just kind of work it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Eventually it will break. Um, it'll break uncleanly and be maybe sharp like the end of a zip tie or something. <clears throat> and then just, you know, be careful of it because stabbies hurt. 
is particularly when you're slamming dubs up in a back tray and you forgot about it and you stick your finner in there all ah, Mach 5 and then you get poked with plastic and it hurts like the dickens so anyway almost done here I want a couple more to do oh yeah another thing <clears throat> just be aware I mean the first time I did this when I clipped it I pushed it this way and kind of messed up the springy spring so push it away from the springy spring okay. it's a tech tip right there but no worries <clears throat> cough back wheeze coffee break it's magically delicious so there now we have a modified battery tray man that was easy right oh dude that was like zoom out a bit come on zoom there we go oh too far all right cool yeah that was like super easy man <clears throat> so now let's slap in some batteries where do they go which way do they go Ta-da! And then, oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I got a frog way up, up in my throat. Anyway, so now there's, you know, room to move and whatnot, and they fit a little bit better. You can, uh, excuse me, 30 seconds, I have to belch. Um, with that, uh, that, that, uh, the, the, the words. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. So with this piece removed, you can't even fit that in there, right? It doesn't go in there. Maybe it does. Anyway, so <clears throat> that little bit of extra room there gives us enough space for this to fit into the radio. So, don't believe me? I wouldn't believe me either. Never believe what you see on the internet. I'm going to go get the radio. Hey, look, I found a radio. I didn't, you know, find a radio, but it's a radio. Oh, you can see my jammies. No, no, okay. That's better. All right. Hey, don't look at my serial number. i got to cover that up. I don't know. Reasons? So, I have the uh, the wind camp in here, which is nice to have. Um, I don't know. I know the majority of what I my, my <laughs> two thousand ma. That's a lot of ma's. Right, so we'll, just, we'll, we'll just set that uh, right here. <laughs> All right, so. Battery tray. Pro tip, put the battery tray in empty, then add the batteries. If you mess that up, you're going to have a rough time. I learned that. I'm a smarty mix. Smart, smart. Coffee break! I don't know what's going on, but that's like smooshy smudging. Maybe I have a lens cloth and clean my little... Clean my lens! Where's my lens cloth? Should have a lens cloth. Nope. Okay. Nope. I got a t-shirt. That should work. Hold five. Eat your, eat your, eat your, eat your. Hey, look at that. It's better. Cool. <clears throat> Fingerprints and crap all over it. Anyway, back to topic. Uh, slip some of these batteries in. I need more coffee today now. What? what, what? Doing that right? Yeah, okay. Yep, okay. Look at that. Look how nicely those went in. If you're a first time viewer, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. And you're like, oh, you put batteries in a battery tray. What's the big deal? No code. Lame. Wow. Allow me to point you to my older videos where this wasn't working! And you couldn't get that in there. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's just go in, <clears throat> hit the button. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. 10.3 volts. Alright, you're gonna get your solid five volts out of something like that. So yeah, that's it. That's uh that's uh what am I saying? That's uh that's the point of the video was to show you good folks and specifically Mr. Rod Murray, how to uh, modify the battery tray here so that you can, you know, fit the, the double A's all up in there. Because life is better on dubs, I think. Plus, you know, a lot of, if you got the, uh, um, uh, what am I, what am I, what am I saying? I need more coffee. 
video is a disaster. If you're into the uh, prepping mindset and you're uh, you got one of these uh, these are uh, all mode all band radios for the prepping because it's small and easy and you're like I'm gonna run it off with double A's because dubs then this is definitely something I would recommend um, without it most of your standard uh, single-use alkaline not environmentally friendly what whatever's um, batteries will fit in there without issue but the recharge I was usually have a slight I'm so afraid when I do that I don't break it or something I really wish uh, Yezu had a better solution for this well anyway I'm gonna top um <clears throat> yeah that's it I don't know what else to say man enjoy coffee have a wonderful day and uh thanks for watching um I usually have something I say at the end of my videos what do I usually say at the end of my videos I don't know hold on I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna go watch one of my videos be right back okay folks figured it out um <clears throat> forgot it remembered hey thanks for watching you have a wonderful day and uh bye bye all right let's figure out how to put this back in sounds a pain in the butt come on why don't you fit ah that was a fun video i enjoyed that what am i gonna do for the rest of the day i don't know drink more coffee